Good morning, I'm Trish Pahanik and this is Synopsis, your first early morning briefing. Heading into the weekend, today is Friday, May 8th, 2009. Here are today's top stories. VH1 wants more of its boot camp style dating series, Tough Love, and a second season is in the works with new episodes slated to premiere during fourth quarter 2009. For this new season, professional matchmaker Stephen Ward will be joined by his mother Joanne and both will transform eight single women looking for love. High Noon Entertainment and Flower Films produce the series. Paul Kangas, 30-year host of the financial news program Nightly Business Report, on PBS will leave his post at the end of this year reports THR. The show is actively searching for Kangas replacement and should announce a co-host to join Susie Garib this fall. ABC approved an early series pickup for the comedy Modern Family, previously titled My American Family. ABC gave the 13-episode order for next fall following positive comments from its pilot screenings. 20th Century Fox TV produces a series about three American families seen from the perspective of a Dutch filmmaker. Cast includes Ed O'Neill, Ty Burrell, Sophia Vergara, Julie Bowen, Eric Stone Street and Jesse Tyler Ferguson. Steve Levitin and Chris Lloyd, executive produce. Next September, Adult Swim will launch a new stop motion series titled Titan Maximum from the producers behind Robot Chicken. The new series with regular characters and storylines is about a team of fighter pilots working on Saturn's moon, Titan. Seth Green, who also executive produces, will lend his voice along with Brecklin Meyer and Rachel Lee Cook. Tom Root and Matthew Seinrich will also executive produce. Hi, I'm John Cox. This week I'd like to talk to you about NBC. Lately, NBC has taken a lot of criticism for its decision to put Jay Leno on at 10 o'clock Monday through Friday. Personally, I think this is a great idea. Not because I'm a Jay Leno fan. I'm not. But NBC is in the entertainment business. It's their job to make money. My criticism is that NBC hasn't gone far enough. We all know that scripted series are the most expensive, so at 8 p.m., NBC should schedule three nights of Howie Mandel's Deal or No Deal. Then on the other two nights, have a primetime version of Jeopardy. Then at 9 o'clock, two nights of Dateline and three nights of reality TV shows. This way, NBC can fill its weekly schedule without any of those expensive scripted shows. Ad revenue might go down, but just look how much money they're saving with Jay Leno. NBC no longer has to write checks for the cast and crew for at least five other shows. It's brilliant. Perhaps instead of calling it must-see TV, we should call NBC script-free TV. I'm John Cox, and that's just my opinion. Thanks for listening. And on that note, that's a wrap. Be sure to check your email for the full printed version of today's synopsis with new executive moves and more on ratings, some new classified ads, a few other stories that did not make it into this podcast, and of course, tonight's primetime broadcast lineup. This is a Synopsis Media production in association with 311 West. For Cynthia Turner, who wrote and compiled Synopsis in Connecticut, I'm Trish Pahanik. I'm going to have a good day. Even if I make it myself, I'm going to have a good day. I don't need no one else. I'm going to have a good day. Nothing wrong I could do. I'm going to have a good day. Hope you have a good day, too.